Here's a quick guide of how to use Dipity. It's going to allow you to create timelines and then put them onto your wiki pages. So first thing to do, click on join Dipity. Put your name in there and your surname. Give yourself a username. Give yourself a password. That's not going to like that because I've already logged in with that one. Whack in an email address. And do the silly thing at the bottom. I bet you it doesn't like this because I haven't put an umlaut over the U. We'll see. Ignore all of that. Click on skip this step. And then we can get cracking. So let's go to dashboard. Create a timeline. So we're going to go get started. Topic name. Music of the 80s. Description. Pop. Category. I'll whack this one into music. Change the time zone. You don't have to do this bit. I'm not going to bother with a thumbnail. I'm going to make this private while I'm working on it. And then I'm going to click on continue. So, add event, and I've made a bit of a list on another page, I found another site that can give me some help with this, 1980, John Lennon dies. So, John Lennon dies, there we go, date, 1980, let's see whether that Hopes with that. Um, John Lennon is shot by a mad fan. Now I'm not going to link it to any. Um, any other media I can link it to another website I can link it to a video if I want I'm just going to add the event straight on I'm going to add the next one watch what happens next 1981 MTV is created before 1981 MTV didn't exist Put in the date again. The first music telly. It was really groundbreaking when it was first launched. And you had to be like really rich to be able to afford it. So we can probably have a little look at it now. Let's just go continue. Mm -mm -mm. That looks fine to me. We'll leave it at that for now. You can always change things later. So, music of the 80s, it will take a while to load. 
and here we are so you can move it along and you can see we've got these little um, points on our timeline already if I click on it it'll give you my definition It'd be nice if I could put an image there rather than having all of this nonsense so I'd probably go back and add an image to each one of these to make it a little bit more interesting to look at if I could also find a little news report on YouTube or something for um, reporting John Lennon's death if I could find some early MTV video that would be nice as well when I've done all that I'm going to go to embed and there you've got straight away um, you'll need to make it um, a public timeline before you can embed it into your page so go back and change the settings of that um, I'll show you how to do that shall I so we're going to look for edit anyone anyone I'll go back to my dashboard and Mm -mm -mm. my topics music of the 80s topic settings there we go so now I can scroll down change it to anyone make sure that I save it And we're all good. Then I can go embed again. Now I have changed that so it will eventually realise and make it so I can. I'm going to click on that, right click it, copy. Then I'll go and find my website. Edit. And then widget, other HTML, paste the code into the box just like you did with the YouTube videos, save, and then let's have a look. As if by magic, there we go, there's our timeline, which we can scroll along. And we can open up each box, just like we could on the website. Okay, so that's how to go about making a timeline in Dipity and then embedding it into your page.